Last weekend, me and my missus, we went to Ikea. Have you been in there? I didn't realise when you visit Ikea, there's certain rules you've got to abide by. But you have to follow that route they've marked out for you on the floor, you know? You know that yellow brick road that leads you deeper and deeper into the world of fucking wood chip? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> and you can't stray from that path? Oh, no. Don't stray from the path. You take a shortcut around the back of the wardrobe section, you come out somewhere in fucking Narnia. <laughs> Well, it's Ikea's version of Narnia, and, you know, there's like a line with a couple of screws missing and only three legs going, woof. <laughs> you get really lost, you end up in one of those mock-up living rooms they got in there, you know, with the cardboard telling the hi-fi? This whole family's in there going, help us! Please, help us! We've been here for years! <laughs> we strayed from the fucking path! <laughs> <laughs> Rule number two, always decide what you want before you arrive at Ikea, because all their products have Scandinavian names. So you'll end up arguing with your wife in fucking Swedish. <laughs> you will, you'll be standing in the middle of Ikea fighting over the catalogue, going, a bring de bring de boo <laughs> Your wife will be standing there going, hern this turn is the vern. <laughs> you sound like Benny and Frieda before fucking Amber broke up, you know? <laughs> frick you. No, frick you too. <laughs> I love the office chairs. I love the office chair section in there. It's brilliant. They've got the beige artificial leather swivel number with the extra high backs. Have you seen that one? Who's that for? Fucking paranoids. Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> They've got that one for bad backs. Have you seen that one for bad backs? You know that one you've got a kneel on? That's really good, because you know what? That really does give you a fucking bad back. <laughs> now you're at your desk doing your accounts looking like a fucking giant para. I love those executive chairs with all the hydraulic knobs and handles. One yank of that lever and you're fucking hurled forward. What's that for, in case there's something really quickly you've got to look at? What the fuck's that? <laughs> well, that might be important. Nah, stop it. <laughs> I love those executive chairs, you know? They've got that one with the rocking motion, you know that one? That's fucking, that's brilliant, that one. And then after a couple of weeks, the bolts start to come loose, so you start rocking the other way. <laughs> As soon as the cashier's got your money and you're through the tills, <gasps> you're on your own. <laughs> you ever tried pushing a flat pack wardrobe out of Ikea on one of their trolleys? Because their trolleys are different from everybody else's. They've got that big wheel in the middle and two small ones either end. So you're trying to push it out of the door doing all this shit, you know? You ask the other end pulling it doing all this. Suddenly you look like you work for the fucking railways. <laughs> Keep pumping love! <laughs> get that trolley outside, and conveniently, Ikea have put them posts up so you can't take the trolley more than five feet outside the door. Hey, thanks for the use of your trolley between there and fucking there! <laughs> you can see your car in the distance across the car park going like that. I'm over there! <laughs> You're standing there going, I'm not going to make it! <laughs> you know, the trolley's standing there going, Sorry, I can't fit through the bars. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so now you've got to carry this flat pack wardrobe across the fucking car park because they're deceiving. It just looks like a flat box. No, that's a king size wardrobe in there, that box. You know, <laughs> your wife's going, go on, pick it up. It's only a flat box. I'll box you flat in a minute. <laughs> Trying to pick the wardrobe up, you're actually straining in Swedish. Mm, I eat a souvenir. <laughs> In their right mind would try and carry a wardrobe across the car park. <laughs> we was out shopping just now, we happened to buy a fucking wardrobe. I mean, you don't go shopping with your wardrobe, do you? You know, walk into top shops, all right, love? I don't need a bag, just ain't the fucker in there, I'll be fine. 